Now in this problem, we have a banked situation. A car's going around a curve where the road is angled up. What that does is it increases the normal force and therefore increases the centripetal force and allows it to go around the curve faster. Now with this question, we're going to look at this from a component perspective. So you'll find that this situation isn't very different to a conical pendulum type situation where you have vectors contributing to the centripetal force. But I'm gonna analyze this from a component perspective so you can see how that works. Well, first thing we do, of course, is draw the diagram. You'll see we have a banked curve like this and we know that this is equal to 20 degrees. We have my car and being a good physicist, I make boxes out of everything. And we know that the radius here is 10 meters. So this distance here to the car is going to be 10 meters. That's assuming that's where we want the car to stay. Then what we do, of course, is label the forces. Now the forces are such that we have our gravitational force acting down. We also have our normal force acting in that direction. And those two are the only forces acting. Now this case is we have ice, so we don't have any frictional values here. If we analyze this from a frictional perspective, in other words, banking with friction included, the mathematics comes a little complex, not insurmountable, but certainly in basis of a sample problem, we're keeping this nice and simple. And the process you'll take here will be the same process that you will use in a friction situation. Now you'll note that I haven't provided the mass of the car and you can see that actually that will be not a problem at all. So when we look at this from a component perspective, we need to break everything down into its components. Your mg obviously is a vertical value and then the normal of course has a vertical component, which in this case, if this is 20 degrees in here, then you can work out this angle here is also equal to 20 degrees. So in other words, what the value of this component is n cosine angle, which is our 20 degrees. It also has a horizontal component. In this case, it's that amount there, which is equal to n sine 20. Now, let's now examine this from that vector perspective. If we put the verticals together, we'll see that mg is equal to n cosine 20. If we look at it from a horizontal perspective, this vector is the vector that's contributing to the centripetal force. So what we have is mv squared over r is equal to, in this case, n sine 20. Now what we do is we put one over the other. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take n sine 20 and divide that by n cosine 20. And on the other side, I'm going to get mv squared over r divided by mg. Can you see what happens? Our m's actually cancel out. So in other words, the value we get in this case for the velocity is going to be irrespective of the mass of the car. You'll also note that the n's cancel out. We don't need to know the actual value for the normal force. Then all I have left now is 1020 is equal to v squared over gr. Do you see what happens here? This looks like a conical pendulum situation again in terms of the mathematics. So what I get here is that v squared is equal to g multiplied by r multiplied by the tan of my 20. Now g of course we know is 9.8, our r is 10, our tan 20 of course remains and now v can now be calculated and we end up getting 18.8 meters per second, or if you want to convert that to kilometers per hour, we're going to get around 68 kilometers per hour. So if the car wants to, let's say, travel at a higher speed, you can see straight away in our relationship that requires a larger radius. Or in our case, it could also require a larger angle to work to go around that curve at 10 meters. So there you have a banked question. A challenge for you, if you add a frictional force here, you'll get a value for friction in terms of the normal again. In that case, you're going to get a mu normal for friction and you do the same process. It just becomes a little bit more complex. Uh, but if you watch my video on banked curves, I actually go through that example. Bye for now.